Hey everybody, it's Mr. Movie 37 here, and welcome back to Pokemon Gold Solo Cyndaquil Run. Alrighty, we're now in Azalea Town for our second gym battle against, well, the gym leader. But before that, let's go over Cyndaquil's, uh, Cyndaquil's stuff here real quick. Now on level 23, with uh, Ember, Swift, Mudslap, and Quick Attack, you learn Quick Attack at level, I believe level 18 or 19. I went ahead and deleted Tackle for that. Actually, uh, you know, I, I well, picked up Swift in the um, Union Cave and deleted Tackle for that. And Quick Attack, I got rid of Leader for. And also now I have the uh, Everstone here. Uh, what I did, I got the uh, the aid from Professor Elm's assistant in Violet City once I defeated Faulkner. Um, pretty much also just ran back and forth with Fast 4 until it hatched. Went back to Professor Elm, he was like, Oh my god, an egg! Blah! And gave him the Everstone there. So now Blazer has that. So now I won't have to mash B after every single level that he gets. So that will just make things a lot easier on me there. Hey, and with that, let's go ahead and challenge the gym leader. I'm Bugsy. I wonder what Pokemon you use. I could never have guessed. Okay, well, hey, short sure, works for me. Yeah, this fight, FYI, not very hard. I mean, overpowered Cinder 12 against Buds, I mean, yeah. Anyway, first up, Metapod, first evolution of Caterpie. Doesn't really do a whole lot, just sits there and hardens all the time. Although, if you leveled it up for Caterpie proper, it would have Tackle, at least. So, you need to, know, you know, do something in battle. But otherwise, yeah, Ember, no problem. Here's the big end, though. This would be Scyther. Uh, Bug and Flying, pretty damn powerful for right now. Can actually be fairly challenging on your first playthrough. Um, if you have a Geodude along with you that knows Rock Throw, that should one-shot it because it's uh, Scyther's four times weak against Rock. But yeah, ooh, even a burn there. Nice. Not that I really need that. But anyway, a Fury Cutter, what that does, it's a butt type move. It grows stronger each time you use it. Um, but yeah, it's not even that powerful regardless because fire resists butt type moves. So there you go. Yeah, two embers down just like that. And also a lot of experience points. Level 24. Uh, new attack by chance? I forget. No, not yet. Won't be for a little while yet. And last Pokemon here, Kakuna, the evolution of Weedle, also doesn't really do a whole lot. It just sits there and, you know, hardens over and over and over again. One thing also, I thought about showing off that uh, the one Rocket battle with that last trainer and the uh, Slowpoke well there, he only has a level 14 um, wheezing, not wheezing, co uh, coughing, so again, not important. I'm really just going to focus on just the main important battles here, like I went over first episode, the gym leaders, the rival battles, the Elite Four, Kanto, all that good stuff there. Everything else, I'll just skip over. But um, yeah, I will gloss over what I've done in between episodes, of course. I've been doing that so far. I wanted to just mention that fourth right that I'll be doing that. So, there you go. Takes care of Budsy. Nice. Get the Hive badge. Badge number two. Yeah, that one is our pretty much one of our easiest badges we'll get in this playthrough as a heads up. Not that I really need that, but thanks. No cut will be able to use it outside of battle too. I don't have cut yet. I'll get that eventually. Oh yeah, by the way, with uh, with the Togepi there, I taught him Flash. By the way, I'll need that eventually. So I figured, why the hell not? And yeah, there's Fury Cutter. I don't really care about that. I never use that. I mean, I don't regardless, but I mean, Cynthetrol can't learn it anyway. Okay, so that settles that, guys, and then we'll head on to our next battle afterwards. This has been Mr. Moose 87 signing off, guys. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.